Yes. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Captain Shahabuddin Ahmed. I am basically an airline pilot. In 1971, in the March, first March, when uh, President Yahya of Pakistan postponed the assembly session, then people of Bangladesh were very annoyed with it and they went out of the house and protested against and with the pilots also did it. Meanwhile, uh, we met Bunga Bundu Sheikh Majibur Rahman on 5th of March 1971. On meeting uh, him, he confidentially told me that your country is going to be liberated soon. And on 25th March, when Pakistan has started, killing our people indiscriminately, we decided the guidelines given by Bangamandu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman to participate in the war of liberation. I crossed over to India on 3rd of April and from there we proposed the Indian government to form Bangladesh Air Force and give us a small aircraft which can make a landing in the field and in the water also. They finally accepted our proposal. The Air Force was formed on 28 September 1971 in Dimapur of Nagaland. And we are civilian, six pilots and three from Air Force, nine pilots in the Air Force. And we do not have any experience of ammunition operation and all this. We were trained there. By the third week of November, we were ready for fighting and we had one helicopter given by Indian Air Force. It's an elevate three French helicopter and a Canadian plane, de Havilland Otter. None of them are aircraft fitted for fighting, but we prepared it with arms and ammunition, fitted rockets and machine guns, and we are ready. Meanwhile, Indira Gandhi went to Europe and North America because there were one crore of Bengali people crossed over to India, and it's not very easy for India to take the load for a lo uh, lo long time. So she could convince the state heads in the Europe and the North America. And from there, she passed a message to hold the operation of 3rd November. Finally, they switched to 3rd December 1971. Our helicopter attacked Dhaka, and the otter went to Chirugong, attack fuel dump in Chirugong, and simultaneously Dhaka. This was the start of war. Finally, Indian Air Force came into operation. In 48 hours, Pakistan Air Force was completely crippled and the sky was first free in Bangladesh. We were supporting Indian Army as well as the Mukti Bahini to proceed forward to Dhaka. And it was a very successful operation. We had about 50 operation in our helicopter and uh, personally I, I operated 12 of them. Finally, Pakistan was, army was totally un under confident and, and surrendered to Indian Army. So that was 16th of December 1971. In the morning, uh, our Chief of Staff, General Ospani, we w took him to Kumidla from Agartala and came back in the afternoon and we got the information that Pakistan is ready for surrender. Now we proceeded to Dhaka with our helicopter and we landed at Tezga airport 
after nine months. And General Aurora, he came with surrendered Pakistani General Niazi to airport and we met them. And our country was free. And this was because of uh, with the help of the Indian government, especially the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and the people of India, they accepted us facing a lot of problems, but they were assisting all through these nine months. Otherwise, our independence of our part would have been very difficult without the help of India. We still remember and we express our gratitude all the time to the Indian people and the government of India for this. The Indian help, we cannot forget it. We cannot forget it. We are grateful and thank you so much.